number that often on the offensive end, and still he plays his tail off on defense every possession. Oscar Sheeway's got four fouls. Hands deflected away, Bufkin. Now he steals the ball, and he drives on Wallace. Can't get it, follow up Howard. What a play by Bufkin. Great play by Bufkin, and a really good play by Jet Howard, not giving up on the play. There was a lot of contact as Bufkin went up, but the benefit went to Michigan on the missed shot because of Jet Howard. Three and a half to go, Kentucky by six. This is a big defensive stand here for Michigan. You have to have a stop here. They go with seven on the shot clock. And McDaniel, it's like the third or fourth time that Michigan late in the shot clock has bailed out Kentucky with a foul. Yeah, just a reach that was unnecessary. Great hands by Kobe Bufkin. And Jet Howard just not giving up on the play. Valuable lesson for all those youth basketball players, boys and girls. Your teammates got a layup. Make sure you follow him or her in there. They miss a few of them. You get some rebounds and some points. Baseline jumper, Toppin can't get it. Dickinson hauls in another rebound. Went back to a 2-3 zone, and Kentucky can't settle for jump shots against that. Still have to get a piece of the paint. Daniel the floater. That goes a little teardrop. They're within four. He's played some really valuable minutes since Jalen Wellen went out. And Kentucky calls timeout. Perry looks at Toppin about perhaps that last shot. Terrific screen by Hunter Dickinson in transition. And Oscar Shibway didn't want to engage too much because it would leave Dickinson wide open under the basket. And as they continue to, to go forward, you know, I think Kentucky's got a chance to be very good. You know, Michigan's developing, but they, they have to remember Hunter Dickinson every time down. Every time he touches it, I think something good happens. Shot misses, follow. No, that doesn't go. Sheeway deflected it to Toppin. That's what kept that play alive. Another smart play by Oscar Sheeway. You can't grab it, keep it alive, and Toppin active, able to get it. Michigan says Llewellyn is now sitting behind the bench with ice on his knee. They will examine it when they go back tomorrow. Howard has it, a lot of dribbling, and he will fire off the window. That was just one-on-one -on -one from Jen Howard. Got the switch. He had Jacob Toppin on him and decided to take it on his own and created a bucket. Now, will Kentucky get the ball into the paint against this 2-3 zone instead of just settling for something on the perimeter? Toppin will try. There's a foul. And he calls an offensive foul. Another good play by Kobe Bufkin. Michigan just hanging in there. Yes. The pass back out, trying to drive it. Toppin's third foul. And you wonder that follow-up rebound that Howard got. Followed by another one-on-one -on -one move, has re-engaged him offensively. Lance Ware into the ball game for Kentucky, taking on Hunter Dickinson. And getting physical with him. Dickinson lays it up and lays it in. And the villain from the WWE pulls him within two. We well, just spun off that contact to the baseline side to get to the left hand. That was a strong move by Dickinson. You try to body him up. And he can feel exactly where you are, just spins off and takes it to the rim. Just gets that little angle. All he needs is a little angle. Locker room to help out, help out Michigan, make sure they had everything they needed. UConn Notre Dame women will tip at 3.15 Eastern time right here on ABC. And there's a touch foul on Buffkin. Wow. And Wheeler will go to the line. The nickel timer. Right? And we had all that banging underneath, and then that gets called. Well, Michigan sticking with the 2-3 zone. Not very big out top with Bufkin and McDaniel. Puts Oscar, it Oscar Shibway trying to screen up top. Reverse. Dickinson blocked. Still 10 on the shot clock. Wallace, big three. Got it! 
Huge shot. Hasten Wallace. Well, Wallace had his feet set right away. He knew the ball was going to be reversed. There was zero hesitation on his part. That was a huge shot by Casey Wallace. Five-point game, minute to go. McDaniel gets it to Howard. What a great matchup defensively. Now the switch. Sheboy backed off. And the miss. Sheboy picks up the rebound. And Kentucky by five, 40 seconds to go. Foul McDaniel. Cason Wallace, biggest shot of the game for Kentucky. After the block shot, Toppin kicks it back out. A great reversal pass and zero hesitation. That shot prep was excellent. His feet were set. He caught that ball to shoot it and was forcing Michigan to take it away from. They couldn't do it. Four for four from three-point land. And tonight, Kentucky has brought the shooting eye to the 0-2 arena. Nine of 15 from three-point land. I think Wallace has been spectacular in this game. Wheeler no good. And here's Howard. Still a chance. Down by five. Obviously don't need a three. Attack the basket. Daniel does. And that's no good. Shibwe picks it clean. And Howard will touch foul. And down to the ground went Toppin. But it wasn't a hard foul. And now with 28 to go. A one-on-one -on -one situation for Jacob Toppin. Boy, how big was that shot by Cason Wallace to give a five-point cushion to Kentucky? He has just been tremendous in this game. There's not an area of the stat sheet he hasn't filled up. And his defense on Jet Howard in the second half was ex just excellent. Topic makes the free throw. Only his second free throw of the night. He's one for two. Toppin has been terrific tonight. Now he's got 13. This free throw could make it a three-possession game. And right now for Kentucky, it's no fouls, no threes. And a win can make an eight-hour flight back home feel a lot, a lot shorter. Yeah, more like seven hours, 59 minutes. Something like that. <laughs> Dickinson launches a three. That's no good. Oscar Shibwe has picked up three rebounds in the last 20 seconds. Wheeler gets fouled. Shibwe's line, 13 points, 14 rebounds. Normal day at the office for Oscar Shibwe. Pretty much right in line with his season averages. I spent a good, good amount of time with him yesterday morning. And you always feel better after talking to Oscar Shibwe. If there's a more positive person on the planet, I'd like to meet him or her. Very much enjoying his life at the University of Kentucky. Wheeler, no good. Out of time is Michigan. Howard is going to launch. That finds the bottom. The lead is four with just seven seconds to go. Howard's three. Just his second. He's got 16. Where Casey Wallace has been just fantastic in this game. 14 points, eight rebounds, five assists, and has just made so many big plays, knocking down threes defensively all over the place. This was the biggest three. Off the ball reversal from Xavier Wheeler after Toppin got a shot block, got it back, and kicked it out. The game was very much in doubt when he knocked down that shot. Just cold-blooded. Four for four for three for the freshman, Kaysen Wallace. Talk about a two-way player. He never takes a play off on the defensive end. Just locked in on every play. Hours in double figures in the second half, but they're out of timeouts now. Well, right now for Michigan, it's about getting a quick steal you know, it's not even about getting a foul you got to you got to get a steal here or a five second call one or the other on Howard without his grad transfer point guard seven of his 13 scholarship players are newcomers this season so they're still trying to gel and figure it out now with the injury to Llewellyn we'll see if McDaniel will have to be pressed into an 
every day, nearly every minute roll, or hopefully, fingers crossed, the Welland goes back home and finds out it's not a serious injury to his left knee. Kentucky's free throw shooting today. They are 10 of 18. They put Howard on the inbounder. That's Wheeler. He looks for Toppin instead. It's Wallace, and he will get hit right there with 6-3 to go. We had Tony Bennett in the Virginia-Michigan game, and, you know, Tony won so many of those games early in the Feast Week tournaments. Asked him the, the significance of winning, let alone playing the competition, but the idea that you win the game. A game like this for Kentucky, in which, as you mentioned, they lost to their your power five opponents what's the significance of winning the game I think it's huge you know you you get into conference play and it gives you that extra cushion not only for you know seeding in the NCAA tournament but you know you don't want to take for granted just getting in mm -hmm. and winning these big non-conference games are really important Wallace missed that free throw I, I still think Ravi the old Tom Butters line years ago from the uh, NCAA Tournament Selection Committee. Who did you play and who did you beat? And th this win is going to, it looks good now. It's going to look a lot better as we go through the season. Howard Hoist, that ball was blocked by Wallace, and that will do it. Kentucky goes across the pond to London to pick up their first significant win of the year, 73-69. Another terrific day for Oscar Shibwe. And as you mentioned, Toppin was great with 14, but perhaps the player of the game was Wallace as he went for 14 points, four for four from three-point land. And yes, they have decided Casey Wallace is the player of the game.